everybody. Hi guys. Mr. and Mrs. Traveler here. Hello Cross Beauty Channel. Welcome to another wonderful tip a Tuesday. Tips for Tuesday. Tuesdays for tips. Yes indeed. Uh, so today we wanted to come to you because we've been getting a lot of questions about this recently because we've been getting a lot of uh, newer cruises coming to the channel so I figured I would dedicate just a short video to the subject of uh, do I need a passport? That's a good question. Yes, it really depends. Uh, our personal recommendation. Yes, you do need a passport, but you don't have to have one in every instance, do you? No, but we recommend to have one, and we'll explain why a little bit more in the video. But they're just they're very handy to have, and as an adult, they last for ten years, so it's it's a good investment. So, do you need a passport to cruise? Hmm. The answer is no, you do not need a passport to cruise. Uh, what you can cruise with if you don't have a passport is a birth certificate that must have an original seal. Yes. And a valid form of ID. And when we say seal, we mean the raised indentation on the paper. That's the seal. Yes, that's not correct. Not just a flat seal, you need the raised indentation on it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And also, if you're going to be traveling with somebody's child who is not yours, like sometimes, let's say we took our niece with us, we would have to have not only her uh, her birth certificate, but we also need to have a letter from her parent, uh, which I believe has to be notarized. Yes. Yeah, so, so that they can verify and they have to put their phone number and all that stuff on there so they can travel with you. Kids are a little different. You have to have a little bit more information when you're traveling with kids. When you go through customs with adults, we just need our passport or our birth certificate. Yes, indeed. So right now, uh, what the U.S. Department of State is saying is that it's about a six-week, six to eight-week uh, turnaround time for passports to put it in. It's about two to three weeks for the expedited service through the U.S. Department of State. Or if you go to one of those uh, passport processing agencies, you can get them in eight days. But of course, you're going to pay a premium price. Expedited service is more money. Mm -hmm. And if you go to those agencies, it's much more money, but you'll get your stuff in eight days. It works. Um, now, I do have some clients that I know that have told me that they were getting their passports in two to three weeks turnaround time. That's pretty fast. With And that was the regular service. I think when we got ours, if I remember correctly, we got them in about a month. It took a month for ours to come in. We, were, we used to live in Michigan. These last for about 10 years. Uh, the children's sometimes they're five or six years depending on how, how, how the child is. But I really think that they're a good investment. So if you bring these on the cruise with you, uh, we always recommend, and even if you bring your birth certificate, we always recommend that you take a photocopy of it, mm -hmm. bring with you, leave a photocopy at home, and also take a picture of it with your cell phone. Yes, that's uh, a good idea. Yeah, just so, just so you have something with you because sometimes you want to go to some of these ports, you don't necessarily, once you're on the ship and you go into the ports you don't need to bring these out there with you mm -hmm. if you're in the Caribbean um, but you if you have the picture of the passport or the photocopy that you can fold up in your wallet or purse uh, that will help things God forbid something should happen right if a ship knows that they're gonna leave you like something happened and they know that they're gonna leave you and you haven't been back on the ship they'll actually go to your stateroom and find things like your passport and that and put it in a bag or whatever. They'll pack your bags for you. Yeah, and they'll leave it they'll leave it at the port for you. Stuff that they know that you're gonna need to get to the next port or get back home. Yes. Uh, which would be this. So maybe if you got stranded in St. Martin or something, uh, or you had a medical emergency while you were in St. Martin, I'm just using that for an example, and you needed to fly back to the United States, you know, I I believe that you would get back there eventually but you're gonna have to go through a lot more of a process trying to prove who you are mm -hmm. to the officials there before you're able to fly back home whereas if you had your passport or at least you had the photocopy or your or the picture of it it'll aid in getting you home flying you can fly to a few places without it in the Caribbean beautiful beautiful places yes it is we love the Caribbean mm -hmm. uh, the US Virgin Islands yes my favorite so, uh, <laughs> St. Thomas, St. John. I have a lot of favorites. St. <laughs> Thomas, St. John, St. Croix, all beautiful uh, without a passport because it's a U.S. Uh, one of our favorites, San Juan. How about Puerto Rico? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Ooh, yeah. uh, the, Mar the Marinera Islands, Guam, and American Samoa. You can 
fly there. And I think I'm forgetting another one too, but that's that's the mo most of them right there you can fly to. So do you have any questions about passports? Yes, I do. What about a name change? <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> yeah. I'll take the pride. Hold on. No, that's good. You can leave it. You know, that was one of our, that was a, a question we got from a couple of different people uh, that actually book cruises through Mr. Traveler. Um, I wanted it to sound realistic, but <laughs> like I was asking, but somebody already asked, so I can't think like I did. That's funny, though. I love it. <laughs> uh, but uh, they have a couple of people that asked the question because if you, if your name differs either on your passport or your birth ticket, that's a very good question. And uh, you can still travel with the passport with the name change, but I highly recommend that you get it updated. There's some forms that you go online and fill out to update mm -hmm. your passport. Um, but you need to explain or have the paperwork to explain how you arrived at the name change. Uh, so if you had a passport and say, God forbid, you got divorced yeah. the day before you went out of town or something, um, <laughs> you're going to have to have your decree of divorce. Or if your name changed because of marriage, you need to have your marriage certificate. they got to be official forms. And that goes for birth certificate or uh, passport. So basically, you have to have a paper trail. Yeah, because okay, because okay, the women have their birth certificate, and if they get married, obviously there's going to be a name change. Yes, that is so. the the longest short of it there for the passport information. I hope that this helps our new cruises out. Yeah. Um, again, just to reiterate, strongly recommend it to get a passport. It's a really good investment. It is. You can use it everywhere. Um, it's fun. A lot of the ports you can go in here and. And sadly, we haven't taken advantage of this, but you can go in here you and get, get the the fun steps everywhere you go. I thought we had at least one. Of you. Oh yeah, we do have one. We have one. We got one from Rotan. <laughs> <laughs> All the it. places we've been, we haven't got our passports. That stamped. was it. We had so much fun, we forget. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're just like. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank you. If you got any questions about passport and birth certificates, please ask them here on the Facebook the channel. Way. And we thank you so very much. And thank everybody for participating in the group cruise. It's getting to be a lot of people going, so make sure you sign up. Yep. We'll talk more about it on Hot Topics Thursday. Sure will. Bye, guys. Life short. Have fun. Take care. Bye, guys.